I won't reach out to you until you kind of show me that that you want to talk to me because I don't want to bother you. I know that I was bothering you before, you know? This was the second time that we were kind of going out again and we took a month and a half break because he told me along the lines of like he needed to work on himself but uh, during that little break that we had he, he did go out with someone else which I didn't judge, I just acknowledged. I'm just gonna be honest with you when I read this text quote because I don't know whether or not to talk to you I always just assume that you ain't gonna wanna talk to me judging from what happened the last time I know you don't mean to pick a fight or anything malicious you're just being honest. But reading that specific text just made me realise that you don't really trust me after this past semester. I just felt like I wasn't important in his life and that's why I didn't feel like I needed to text him all the time. The last time I kind of like texted him was um, New Year's where we wished each other and around that time it was when I came back from the UK and I bought um, some whiskey for him and his family. I just texted him to ask him like uh, when I could drop by to drop it off. I think he didn't check his telegram until like 17 days later. La. He said, oh my god, what the fuck, sorry. I legit just saw this because he doesn't use telegram. And by then, right, I already dropped off the whiskey. <laughs> it doesn't even surprise me anymore because like knowing him for so long, right, he is really not somebody that answers his text messages. La. Well, I remember I was, so, I was so mad that I couldn't reply. Why are you berating me for, for something that I had no control over. I had no control over me losing trust in you, you know? I didn't want to lose trust in you. I'm glad that it didn't blow up. In fact, it ended very peacefully. It was a... I don't know how to reply to make things amicable, but here's my attempt. It's peace, no beef. <laughs> yeah, and it was like... All the best, wish you well. I said, I presume you will see this 17 days later as well. Implying that the reply that I just sent, right, he won't need to get sent in this day, but just like the first message. And then he replied the next day on January 18th, he said like, nonsense, haha. <laughs> and then I was just like, okay, not bad. <laughs> I think I was definitely sad, because I was still dealing with the fact that we were no longer together. But at the same time, still being able to have like a pretty um, casual exchange feels good, because that kind of still gives me the affirmation that we will always still be friends and we can still talk to each other like friends. The last text message, I guess, was to meet up to go for the breakup meal. I was just typing like, oh, 1pm at Burgess Rides? Then, um, replied, yes babe, I just left home. They like, okay, I should be reaching early, I think. That's what I said. Yeah, I was at Burgess. Oh wait, I walked over. Followed by my partner putting the, uh, the location, like the, the drop-in and oops and sauce. That was the very, very last text. I knew I wanted to go into this um this uh this lunch with the intention of um, breaking up. Prior to this I wanted to do it for about three, four days and I know that I had to do it. If not it's just gonna keep dragging on and on and on and that's not fair. So. My last text with my ex was around September last year. I said, Hi, I need my jacket for my trip next week, so can I get it from you? This is quite urgent, would appreciate your help. Um, I double texted because he didn't reply and I really wanted my jacket. And then he replied, I'll be out the whole day, so unlikely. How about you give me your address? I'll sweet post it to you. And I was fine with that because then I wouldn't have to see him at all. And then after that, he replied um, a full day later, um, the post doesn't operate on Sundays. I left it at eh? I left it in the pop station at Tobio Safra. It's located at B1 Loading Bay, locker number, pin number. And that was it. That was the last message. He was being very uncertain about even a jacket. I was like, you know, this is very irritating, first of all. But at the same time, I couldn't be bothered about him or his feelings anymore. I really just wanted my jacket back. <laughs> So the reason we ended was because we were not seeing eye to eye on a lot of things. So when we first met up to end the relationship, it ended off mutually. We were fine, we thought we were going to be friends. And then a couple of weeks later, we met again to have like complete closure. And a lot of ugly things were said and it didn't turn out very nice. In January, I was like, Happy New Year! And then he's like, Happy New Year! And I was like, 
Uh, hi best friend, I hope you're still good for this year. Let's have a clean slate whenever you're ready. I said that. And then he said, sure, let's go. Happy New Year, take care, alright? We were just trying to be normal. We were actually talking about how my flying was because at the point of time, I just started flying for my work. And I was like, oh, hello there. Because of the time difference, I replied super late. And he's like, yo, how's Greece? And I said, oh, I'm going for lunch. Uh, you know, I have three days to explore. And then I sent him like work views. And he's like, wow, looks amazing. And then after a few like hours, the conversation just died out. And that was the last we ever heard of him. So I applied for the flight stewardess job. He was part of the reason why I applied because he's actually an American. I thought maybe I could spend two days with him for states flights. He just said something like, sorry for the heavy topic and in summary, he has fallen out of love and previously he felt he has been too wishy-washy with this whole situation so he wanted to make it clear. He also said, I don't know how big of a part I am into you coming to the States to work but he said he did not want the end of our relationship to deter me from doing that. I spoke out and I saw the message and I started crying and crying. It was super super painful and it took me a very long time to heal. He wanted to be friends but I told him that I needed some time and I'll text him when I'm ready to text him again. But it took me about half a year. I've really learned to let go of him and just cherish him as a good friend because he is a good person so he's still someone that I like to keep in my life We broke up uh, face to face and then I think we both wanted to try being friends so she said Jay, are we even okay at all? like you clearly can't act normal if you don't want to talk to me, it's fine just say that I'm chill I really don't want to do this half-hearted shit and I spammed a bunch of letters and I said, this is normally how I am, like I'm not even lying because she hasn't really met me in a capacity as a friend before so she doesn't understand me I told her that I, I want her in my life as a friend and she said that do you think we could transition into being friends uh, in two days, like that quick I just honestly believe that any couple that breaks up and don't want to be friends, right they need time and space apart to heal first before they can commit to being friends. So that's what I actually said to her. And she said, yeah, you okay, you take care. Uh, keep doing what you want to do. Uh, don't really know what to say because I feel like I don't know you anymore. One thing that really kept me going was to appreciate all the little things I had in life. So for example, friends, family, just having that mindset really does help you get through the day. Don't jump into things prematurely. A relationship to each person is very different. Make sure you're on the same page. Take your time to have your like mourning period. It's okay to cry, it's okay to be sad. But after that, ensure that you step up, you get up and you do what you love to do. Something that I always try to remember is to not take things so personally. Don't think that it is your fault because something ended. Sometimes it's just not fitting well. Sometimes it's about chemistry, sometimes it's about personalities. Don't think that you need to be better for somebody, you know? Thank you for watching this video. If you have any thoughts or stories that you want to share with us, leave us a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time! Bye!